All right, a new recording has begun. All right, let's see if this is a death recording or a rebuilding re recording. Ounces for weight and volume end up being the same for water or other liquids of the relative same density. gamble on that if the last half of the stream is gonna be a death stream or a progress stream like <laughs> someone wants to set it up but i'm like every day is a school day yeah <laughs> 31 over 23 i mean they're beating it pretty easily it's just that it lasts so long we're at 15 percent on this hopefully get one found pretty soon Death streams are more fun to watch. I mean, if it happens over and over and we do the same challenge forever, it's probably not fun though. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Those decibels. One in fluid ounce. Equals 1.04317555 ounce. Oh, I did know that, Rex. Yeah, someone told me that once. If you deal with, yeah, it depends on the density of the liquid, yeah. Where are we at here? We're at 14. We're getting happy in. We're getting food in. It is going well. It's rather entertaining, though. It's been crazy just because I'm I'm not used to this kind of slow progress like this. Like most of our runs are kind of sl slow burns, but this one is next level because we've just been knocked down so many times in this. So we'll get to the point where we're having like 20 man raids. We'll get beaten down to like one or two colonists. We'll have points where we only have like four man raids, and then it just keeps going through the process. So I'm thinking we should get um, someone that can build a ship, send it off to the tile on their own, and literally nothing else there, aside from what they need to survive, nothing, and then have them start building the ship like behind their base. <laughs> That's just it. Um, we don't have anyone incredible for that. Yanni is about the closest. Yanni uh, can build and they can fight. So we can set up nutrient paste, so not a big deal there. They're really bad at planting, so that would take a little bit. We could send them food. So I'm, I'm thinking we just do that with Yanni. Um, yeah. At least then we can see actual progress rather than just sitting and waiting for the materials all at once and waiting to scan and all that. We'll actually be able to see the ship coming coming along. So. One first ship map. Yep. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. We got way more cloth there than we need. Uh, we should send it off. We're trying to make um, allies of the blue tribe, not blue tribe, whatever they are, the blue people. Just send all that. It's not worth a whole ton though. Let's see how much we can get out of this. Yeah, we still had this. All right, we'll see what that gets us. <laughs> room temperature? Whose room? Uh, measurements. Still working to scan ground here too. Oh, let us not forget viscosity. Yeah, so we get that filled in. Man, oh man. Last time we got, last time we used long range mineral scanner, we got pretty lucky. So you can get lucky and it just scans something like right off the bat. Uh, we are not getting lucky this time, though. We're already at 
And at him, still a small single thing out there? No. Not by a lot these days. Not by a lot these days. I mean, it was always that way, but you know what I mean, like discoveries. The world's changing and it scares me. Is Quark still the smallest? Quark. <laughs> that we know of. Quack. <laughs> Quark's no longer considered the smallest either. Just keeps going down. It's crazy. Electrons, yeah. Quarks are down there. All right, Yanni, I'm gonna do it. I probably shouldn't but i feel like at least we can look at some like while we're waiting at least we have somewhere to progress you know uh do we have some steel and stuff to send with you can you mine a little bit of steel if we send you we have a one in mining so not really there's not a lot of steel on this map either we've gotten most of our recent steel i mean there's some like is there overhead mountain there there's nuts we still can mine this a little bit all right, let's do that. Morgan with the go frenzy. All right. Uh, how are we gonna mark the map that we want to send him to? I think I'm gonna do that arid shrubland, which was in here somewhere. We had an arid shrubland with grand sandstone. Wait, oh, there it is. So two up from the crook of that. Uh, can we already launch there pretty easily? Man, I don't know. I keep having second thoughts about it. But. All right. There's something else we need to do before we do all that. Uh, we need to get a comms console at this base. That was pretty important. So that we can call in support at this base. Let's get that done. Carlo, you can do that. that in there. Know exactly what smells. Of matter that retains all of the chemical properties of an element. Just the definition. Mr. Ring. Ah, I got you. A party. Wait, why the power go? Oh, I see. Yeah, let's get that fixed. Scan underground plasteel. Ugh, it's so friggin' far away. We should have used like a really small map. <laughs> There'd just be no problem. Yeah, look at that. They're having a party out there at the campfire. Nice. Make them happier. Okay, Carlo, get, get that done. Oh, you need components. Uh, we mine all the components there. We mine all the ones there. We got mechs over to the right of here, so we can't go mine over that way. We could mine there, technically. It's pretty far away. God, there's so much steel. Uh, I could make Bard make some components. That's what he was doing, but... I mean, he is beating the Sleeping Sickness pretty handily. Alright, do it, Bard. Oh, wait. He found one. Ah, I think it was because it was in transit. It's all right. You can make one anyway. Time map order challenge go. At least scanning minerals would be nice. Wild man wanders in. What you got? Shadow. An iron will nudist slow learner. Two animals, 58 years old. Uh, zone, set up this work zone. Berserk. All right, it's time for melee training again. 
I mean, they got out of there fast. Oh no, he died. Oh God, why? Transport pod. Uh, they are affiliated with the Empire, so saving them would be a good idea for rep, but they're on the other side of this. It's not awake yet, but I don't trust it. Anism. Philosophical exercise. Let's go to Orson. Party so hard, he broke the generator. <laughs> All right, we're ready to link again. Squid, you've, you've gotten some good stuff, Squid. Let's see if we can get a good tier six. Turn this run around. Neuroquake, perhaps. Just not animal pulse, animal berserk pulse. All right, that's what we're gonna get now. Skip shield be all right. Is there anything else I wouldn't want? Other than the animal pulse? I don't think so. Far skip would be good. Wait, is far skip five or six? I never can remember. Come on, come on. Of course, still have it in the reserves. They're still speculative. It's five, thank you. Mass chaos skip. That can be really not good. <laughs> so mass chaos skip, I don't know that I'm gonna use that because problem is we use it and it can teleport a group of enemies behind us or some of them. So that's unfortunate. No Neuroquake, which is what I was really hoping for. But now we can start working on someone else. Ah, well. Sleeping Sickness is at 58% through it. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Who's still doing the mining here? It's Doi. Right. Doi's mining after cleaning. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, let's turn him back off of doctoring for right now. Although he is getting experience just by cheering up whoops, which is kind of nice. What well, colony number? This is attempt number four. This is colony number two, and this is colony number four. So, colony one and colony three in this attempt are dead. Uh, but don't worry, we're gonna make a colony number five here soon. No empty accessible spot. Oh, right. Right. Those up there. Or that up there, I guess. Squid having a breakdown. Yeah, thought that might happen. Colony 4 is really Colony 1 3.0, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, Yanni. I'm going to do it. No, this challenge is we just have to see the credits. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how we get there. Melee only, see the credits. You ever had multiple colonies? Is it super difficult? I mean, it can be. The, it's kind of ex amplified because I'm playing no pause. Like, if you're playing with pause and you have multiple colonies, you can just pause. And you can go set up things to do over there and set up. It's easier to forget things and, and whatnot, obviously, because you just have more going on. But you can always just pause and deal with things to each colony. Each colony can get attacked at the same time, which can be really uh, crazy. But again, with pause, you just go back and forth. So even though it's a lot to manage, it can be done um, relatively straightforwardly with, with pause. With no pause, that's where I get uh, screwed over a lot. When like both colonies are attacked at the same time, sometimes it's like, all right, which colony do I love more? <laughs> like, who should survive this? But it's an epidemic. Sure, you're welcome in. And Yanni. Mm. 
390. On traps? This one? Yeah, they step on the traps. So this is a new setup that I was working on on a save, a test save. So enemies will step on the traps and your colonists won't. So colonists will move diagonally through here so they can rearm the traps without stepping on them. Enemies will avoid the slowdown of the barricade and instead will run across the traps. So it's worked out pretty well so far. It's a little bit less wealth than using doors and you have to uh, remake way less doors. So I'm liking this setup so far. I'll probably experiment with it some more and use it in a normal run after we're done with this finally. How are we doing on the scan? 22%. Come on, guys. Come on. That's just plasteel as well. We gotta, we gotta get uh, gold and stuff too. Do you observe five rotting corpses? I know, I sent you there. Slaver on foot. I have a lot of mo uh, money though, but it's going Waldo, welcome in. Uh, okay, did we get this loaded? Uh, mostly. It's good enough. So we're looking for as much rep with blue as we can get. Plus 19. Yeah, let's do it. It's just gonna dump some wealth too that we don't want right now. So plus 19 is not gonna quite get us there, but it gets us closer. Wanna try a few you finished your first ship launch two weeks ago. Try that for settled in yeah it's been it's been working pretty well like you don't have to make the curve you can just make it longer the benefit in this so it's slightly less wealth it's almost identical in wealth so that's not really a big factor but the nice thing is once enemies break in the tunnel they don't break doors on their way out they actually follow the tunnel out so you have to you end up having to rebuild less doors Why not? p music so unbalanced that's right it increases my mood which makes me play better All right, I don't even know why I'm going to look at this. I mean, maybe if there's someone incredibly awesome, we can trade the bear in and buy them. Uh, something I can think of, because we don't have a lot of money. There is some silver and jade and stuff on the map, but they're close to the edge, so. Dangerous. Dangerous. All right, well. Oh, you got some more people down here? A kind pessimist, 65 year old. Oh, where are those exotic goods traders, man? I've had like three the entire run. It's the least I've ever had. We're, we're closing in on 600 days, which is just crazy. Crazy. Hey, Wanderer joins. All right, who are you? Good at melee, too smart and beautiful. don't really want you you're gonna cause social issues but i can have you clean and you do have natural meditation Ugh. god i'm gonna take you i hate beautiful ponds so much they cause so many social issues uh it's all right though social issues were fine who is this salty bancos salty you're in congratulations condolences you know this you know the spiel All right, so that means we can set them. Wait, were they incapable? I didn't even look at that. Sorry, Salty. I didn't see incapable of dumb labor. <laughs> Stone skin gland. Yeah, I wish I had some of those. Welcome to the queue. Uh, sorry, Salty. I'm gonna re put your name in. You're gonna be the next person. Already marked it off though, so. There we go. I wrote it down on a post-it note. Definitely won't forget that. Okay, what do you got here? I can sell you into slavery. 
people will get upset. But maybe I don't care. <laughs> Uh, hurry up. Haul that. Hey, what? We held that open? Oh my god. Someone get that knife out of there. Quick. <laughs> Eleven hundred. Wait, wait, wait. They don't even have enough. To 96, my bad. 70, perfect. Get them out of here. Look at that. We got silver, we got medicine. Fantastic. Show you our joint. Your hero, Lucifer. Thanks, Lucifer. Big fan. Big fan. Thank you. Prisoner was sold. Oh, no. Smart, very neurotic, industrious. Yeah, very neurotic, industrious. It's crazy. Crazy work speed. So I'm big, welcome in. Pause, I didn't know. Pause, my. Don't think you can watch anymore. <laughs> New lovers. What? We have to get another double bed? I forgot we had all these extra beds in here, by the way. Could have been using those as prison beds. New double bed, huh? Who, who'd you hook up with? I didn't even check. Bard. Wait, how? What? Squid and Bard, all right. It's gonna make them happier. Bart, are you almost over your sickness? It's been so long. 72%. We're getting there. Okay. Uh, so how far are we off from allying? Not a lot. I need 21 more to ally them. Um, we got drugs that just came in. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let Sim cook some psychite tea. That's done. You play prison architect. It's kind of like a real, just a little bit. Yeah. Seems like I would like Prison Architect. Man, it was pretty heavy the first time I... So it, when I opened it, I went in to do, like, the story mode or the story or whatever, and right off the bat, you're seeing these comic book sketches of this guy who caught his wife cheating and he murdered them, and he's on death row, and you're building a... You're building an execution area for him, and it's like... Whoa. <laughs> There's, like, actual comic and voice... Anyway. I was not expecting that... Uh, all right, Sim. This is where you make drugs. Yeah, it looks like a game I would like to get more into. Just haven't yet. As always. Always more to play. All right, it's drug time. It's drug time. Furniture. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a shelf here. 
for our drugs. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to clear everything so that this is critical. Uh, raw resource, plant matter, psychoid leaf. There we go. And we're going to set these to uh, drop on the floor, actually. There we go. Make some drugs, make some friends. Prison Architects? Uh, no, that wasn't made by Titan, no. Uh, from what I understand, he got permission to use the art style for this game. But it, this one has nothing else to do with Prison Architects, as far as I know, anyway. Could be wrong. Or misremembering. It's so like they're... Never... Worlds? I don't know, they're working on something, we don't know what. Could be a different... Could be a different uh, game entirely. Could be a do Rimworld DLC. Royalty's not super old. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Climate adjust machine shifting the regional temperature 18 degrees. Uh, no. Game. He was ready to take them to court over it. So it was a friendly agreement on both. That's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know about the court thing. I knew about the agreement to use it. But I didn't know there was actually like a court thing involved. Alright, we're going to switch this over to Devil Stream. Uh, and we're going to finally make this drug policy. So, uh, we're going to new policy. Uh, well, let's just call it drugs. All right. For addictions, we'll leave everything on. Pinoxidilin, I doubt we're going to end up having it. But if we do, we want them to take one every five days. Keep on inventory. Psychite T. Take that on a schedule. Every three days, only if mood is below 60. Okay. Keep on in your inventory. Enjoy. <laughs> is Prisoner Architect like Paradox? I didn't think it was. The baby. One thing about drugs in the game, um, drugs in the game are pretty good. Like, there's a lot, there's a lot of reasons to use the different drugs. I usually just basically stick to the, to um, psychite teas because it's easy one to make for everyone. It's easy to grow. It does take a lot of time. There's not really a big addiction chance as long as you keep it two to three days out. But uh, yeah, drugs are good. Do drugs in rim worlds. Definitely not in real life, unless it's legal. Paradox ended up buying them out. Gotcha. Paradox bought prison architects. All right, elephants, we can't have you dying. Come into the walls. I think people are happy enough to start meditating in the tree again. Um, yeah, probably. Our community I could have them only do one. Let's just do one per day, actually. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Still grows them in the grass, not as much, obviously. But uh, that'll keep them from traveling over there twice a day. Try that. Uh, short round thing to follow. Going to the level it goes to the Paradox Steve page. Gotcha. Pros and cons of having two colonies. You can do exclamation base if you want the explanation of why two colonies are good, especially for this run. Uh, I made a, we made a clip out of it since a lot of people were asking. Uh, the downside to it is just it's more to manage, really. 
And if something happens at one colony, like a death, it affects all colonies. Start saying it's toilet, toilet so you do what you do. Never know how you're supposed to use Luciferium. So Luciferium is an incredible drug if you can keep it stocked. Uh, it can heal basically anything other than death. It will regenerate a uh, body part or heal a scar uh, around, I think it's once per season. So about every 15 days, Luciferium will heal something on that person uh, that is not healable otherwise, even aside from outside of healing mech serum. However, if you don't take Luciferium every 6.6 .6 days, they will die. So the best thing to do is if you have a stock Luciferium or if you can maintain Luciferium, is you go into the drug pol policy. What you do is under Luciferium, you just hit the schedule button. You set this for every six days, and then you also have them have one in their inventory. So what that will do is every six days before it gets to that 6.66 .66 thing where they start going crazy, they will immediately use the one in their inventory and then they'll go put another one in there. Oh yeah, they'll, they have incredible breaks and they'll die. But actually, we had someone that was so happy in the 20 year run that he wasn't even having a breakdown and he just suddenly died from Luciferium withdrawal. And I was like, what? What's going And I checked and he was literally zoned one tile away from being able to reach the Luciferium. It was so dumb. He died. It was like, I know there's 150 Luciferium right there. It's right by the barracks. I sleep. I look at it every night. I need it or I'll literally die. But Sky God told me I can't walk to that tile. So I'll just die. So anyway, that's how you take care of Luciferium, and then you set them for the... Prisoners always tunnel through the toilets no matter what. So. I guess I'll just die. I'm sure Sky God knows what he's doing. I'm sitting here eating, eating my lunch. Chowing down on chicken wings or something. Welcome back. I'm sure Sky Your God's looking out for me. Loyalty is greatly appreciated. He knows what's best. Is Luciferium anything like glue? It's very similar to glue, yeah. Hold your organs together, makes them strong. Um, Mirgant, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you, Mirgant. Very much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Stroke, etc. And yeah, yeah, it was my fault entirely. Yeah, Luciferium is pretty, pretty much like glue. Keeps your organs together, keeps them strong. Eighty-five percent. Good God! Come on, man. Get over the sleep sickness. Just get over it. All right, Yanni. <laughs> I should not do this. I'm gonna do it. How do you get reliably? So without a mod, you can trade for Luciferium, uh, either by waiting, caravanning, uh, etc. Uh, you can also go get it out of Ancient Dangers. Ancient Dangers, uh, Lucerium is very common in Ancient Dangers. So what you do is you set up a caravan on the world map. You caravan over to a tile. You settle that tile. You go in. You pop over the Ancient Dangers. Get whatever you want. Leave the tile. Abandon it. Keep doing that. The other thing you can do is if you have uh, excess Luciferium and you get attacked by uh, enemies, take as many prisoners as you can and then up, uh, addict them with Luciferium. So... Uh, administer luciferium to them to addict to them just one and then let them go they will come back in a future raid to attack you and they'll have luciferium in their inventory so when you kill them you'll get the luciferium that they brought back so you give them that free taste you know like dare try to teach us about <laughs> give them a free taste of drugs they'll come back with it next time more of it those are the main ways without uh, without mods your faces is that a helmet it's a mask yeah a tribal mask yeah it's a way to protect their entire head for cheap. Man, they're still down. That sounds cruel. <laughs> oh, God. You're on the other side of two mech clusters, lady. And you look kind of old. 62. She's tough, though. Empire protects. Just make a drug game run. Yeah, there's stuff like that, yeah. First hit's always free, man. Cruelty on the rim? No. Do that several times. So, for anyone that hasn't watched, we did a 20-year-long run. Hardest difficulty, 5%, no pause. Randy, 20 years. 
And so I was talking about how I wasn't going to use Luciferium. And then we had a really good pawn that had a brain damage, right? We'd had them for years and I, they were just walking around. They were so bad because they only had like 10% of their brain or something. They, they were in comas all the time. Anyway, I was like, all right, we'll give you some Luciferium. We'll hit, get that. She is tough though. It's true, but she's not going to walk through those mech clusters. So I gave them one, healed their brain. And I was like, and then we started keeping some. And then someone else had like a, you know, something something bad to you, like a brain injury, whatever. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll give them Luciferium too. And I wasn't keeping track of how many I gave. So I started, I started being like, you got, you got a scar on your chest. It's a minor pain. Let me introduce you to Luciferium. And then we were starting to run out of Luciferium quickly. And someone in chat was like, how many people do you have addicted to Luciferium? I was like, I don't know, like seven or eight. It's not too bad. We can get enough. They're like, no, I think it's more than seven or eight. So I started going through the list and we had like 30 people, like 30, 34 people that were addicted to Luciferium. And I was like, oh God, I have made a huge mistake. <laughs> so we had so many people. So the whole rest of that run, we were just like costly going out to try to get Luciferium. But anyway, that's up on YouTube if anyone is curious to see it. Please get over this so you can once again craft things. So many. But yeah, I started being really liberal with it. I was like, oh, you lost a finger? No, <laughs> I would just give them bionics, but. Chess. So that started. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um. Um. Not bad back, but yeah, feeble, yeah. Did I manage to finish that run? Yeah, that was the 20 year run, yeah. Oh god, Yanni, I'm gonna do this. I know I could keep talking about it. Let's just do it. Let's just, just pull the band aid. Yanni, you might die. But you know what? You might die if you stay here. This is such a bad idea. Let's do it. All right, Yanni. Uh, you need like 90 steel. Let's just take like a hundred steel. Um, and then you're gonna need a few components. You're actually gonna need more than that. So let's just take like 10 components and whatever steel we can fit. Five components and whatever steel. 10, 10, 10. Kim fuel? Nah, he doesn't need Kim fuel. Well, I probably should put stole. some food and some medicine. <laughs> so. Things go south. What are you saying? It's there for him to punch, the line someone fire and die? No. Ah, uh, try Paladin. Think for the 300 bits. Take a try Paladin. No, he's not coming back. This is a one way trip either way for Yanni. <laughs> so he can just light himself on fire. Well, the mechs are coming. Might as well douse myself. Can you get food up and running? in three days you better hope you can our community oh my grows. lord all right yanni good luck lucifer thank you for the follow lucifer i'm sure it'll be okay yanni's gonna have the time of his life isn't he also like depressive or something he's a nervous pessimist oh my lord sandra's don't worry, you don't have to worry about men or women anymore at all. Here we go. Such a bad idea. Um, it was this one. What's that clip? Is that one I have put up on the TikToks? What's the kids say? All right. Let's do it. Do I really want to go to Arid Shrubland with him? Yes. Yes, I do. We can send him more stuff if he needs it. It's fine. He's going to be fine. I need to make a link for that, actually. Yeah. I just, I just signed up on there. Here we go. I don't guess I'll die. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I know what it is now. All right, Yanni. This is your new home. Oh, look at that, Yanni. Yanni, that is a very defensible position. Look at that. Maybe even down there, but this... This, Yanni, I don't know. You got uh, geothermal down anywhere? Got one there. Geothermal, this guy. Like he's ever going to get geothermal. Are you kidding? That is a great place. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, we got rich soil down there, but... Which map is this? Oh, God. What are you? All melee. Uh, all melee? That shouldn't be sappers then, right? I don't think that rolls sappers very often. They're sappers. Uh, you're fine, Yanni. They are sappers. All right. Making tequila in the base game? No. <gasps> Wake up, Mex. <laughs> I thought it was the Yachty map too yeah, at first. It's like, go Scythe or go. I never. Yeah, only beer for alcoholic beverage in the base game. Come on, turrets, you got this. Man, I would have. I would have had everyone dead by now. I have too many mods, you don't even know what's in the base game anymore. It's part of my problem, too. How many survived that? Eight? Maybe nine. We're kind of lucky it's all melee, honestly. Oh, did the actual sapper get killed? Stop killing our animals now. <laughs> All right. Um, strip those. Strip, strip, strip. Our community grows. Schedule. Go back to work. Uh, who's building? Squid. Marble door. Blue. What? Squid. You know what? I don't even need a door there. I oh, know I do it. Select the right thing. There we go. Uh, let's see. Rescue, Phelan, you're already on it. Let's capture some people. I don't know what they have, but we'll capture them really quick. Squid's got them. Flesh is tending to the elephant. That's good. Capture. Uh, all right, what's on you? Mining, cooking, very neurotic. Tortured artist, very neurotic. Um, jealous, doesn't really matter too much. Okay, what's on the other one there? Is that the only one left alive? No, there's one under us right here somewhere, right? Yeah. Around our body period is 12. Burning Patch Construction, too smart. Well, it's not too bad. How about this one? Slow learner, greedy. Uh, they're not super awesome. Hmm. This is actually better than Yanni at that tile that we sent him to, but 
Either way, uh, strip them really quick. Got medicine out of that. Look at that. We got some melee weapons. We didn't take any damage ourselves. Got some medicine. Hmm. We don't have any marble blocks right now. Ah, they're in the prison. Is someone else already on it? Yeah, all right, Carlo's on it. There we go. There we go. There's multiple lane there, right? Who's behind you, gourmands? Yanni, how you doing over here? Doing all right? Cool. This is your new home, Yanni. Did I get a short bow though? That would be a game changer. There's the anima tree. Oh well, no anima tree for you. I'm really thinking about coming down here, but nah. Are there no structures here? Oh no. I was banking on there being like a structure to tear down in order to make the initial walls because there's going to be very little wood. We're going to have to like drop hot him some some stone or wood. <laughs> Probably just some initial wood. It's fine. He can cut his own stones. Um, all right. Okay, Yanni, so, uh, man, this is such a good area for them. So we can even put the kill area up here and then just have this back area kind of safe. So, uh, that's what we'll do. We'll put a kill area right here. We'll make this, uh, the double wide like I was doing at the other place. So once you... Uh, maybe I'll do it away from that steel. Yeah, it's fine. One, two, opening. And then we'll we'll make it correctly later. But anyway, he can live down here for right, uh, right now. We'll make a small house here. Maybe just like take advantage of this wall. It doesn't need anything super crazy. That might be all he ever needs. All right, um, work, you're going to need, yeah, that's all fine. Chop the wood that we do have here. Let's go ahead and put the stockpile zone in here. Where we're going to make an initial uh, setup. Dumping zone out there. Growing, what kind of, it's just normal soil it looks like. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about potatoes or anything. Rice is going to grow kind of slow too, though, but whatever, it's fine. Growing zone. All right, how you guys doing? Clean this up. How are you doing on the sleeping sickness? Excuse me. 99%. Nice. Finally almost over. You guys can go back to no longer bed resting. Hide in your room, Yanni. You don't. Where are you hiding, Yanni? Where are you hiding? You don't have a room. God, you might die for you get a room set up. No one's listening to the room. Well, it's true.
Okay, Bard's actually back to crafting, which is nice. How about you clean up blood instead, Bard? There appears to be elephant blood literally everywhere. Mad wild boar at this base. Uh, that's fine. I am right-handed and my wife is left-handed. She's more like ambidextrous though. A plasteel seam at long last. We can lose a caravan going and getting plasteel. Our day has come. All right. So now we're going to we're going to search for Let's just search for components maybe. Taurus's revenge. Wait. Oh, our bear's out there hunting a Taurus. Good job, bear. Wow. Yanni, I like how you think this entire thing is your room. Trady's right handed mouse. Your parents are smart. That's a good idea. Yeah, that was good of them to do. Yanni. Come on, man. What kind of pirates are you? Whatever, you can go, I don't care. Mm. Mm. It's bad this weapon sucks so much. Baz, why are you unhappy? Darkness. It's nighttime, Spaz. That's just what happens. This, this guy. How are we doing on drugs? Ah, we're getting there. We're getting there. You all right, Bear? You got a bite on your nose? Ah, you're fine. What's the impressive scene here? It's just somewhat. We need it back up. That's one. Okay. God, Yanni, I need you over this, man. Hey, those are Yanni's trees. I could put that out. Oh, it's raining. Good. Good, good, good. She bleeds. Elephant blood, true wonder of the rim world. That's true. They were both bleeding. See, Phelan. It's you can't see it, but Phelan's laying under this one's butt. Rhino and elephant blood. All right. Wait, I thought I saw rain. Apparently, I was wrong. Put that up. Why did I make a third colony again? Uh, to start building the ship on. Paid heat wave. You had an actual. Heat, oh, now it rains. You had a heat wave stack on top of it. <laughs> That's pretty rough. What's the temperature? It's like 60 Celsius out. <laughs> the air is lava. Yeah, it's to make low wealth ship, basically. Yeah. All right, so are you guys at this one or at the other colony? Because now we have... Okay, it's our first trade ship at this colony. Oh, don't release them. We can sell them into slavery. Fantastic. Can they walk yet? Nope. I need you to start walking immediately. So I can enslave you. <laughs> Morgan. Let's see what they have, Morgan. Herring Securities. You must be chopping down trees. One of these slaves is real. Oh, we can sell them. Because they're not unconscious. It's only 90, though. It'd be worth a lot more if they were able to walk. 
probably not worth selling him for 90. It's a minus three mood hit for like, yeah, it's not that long actually. Hmm. Quick sleeper brawler that can deal with the animals for us. How much are you? 1800. I'll give you 200. <laughs> Probably not worth it. Go juice them up. Ah, I think I what I look like. I'm rich. I don't have go juice. Awful barracks. It shouldn't be awful anymore, right? Nah, we're back up to very impressive. Okay. Yanni, come on. <laughs> Took you a second, we got that one. Shoot the left little toe off, they'll never walk again. Yanni. Why are you upset about a prisoner being sold, Yanni? That's the least of your worries right now. Your food, Yanni. Think of your food. Please. You don't even have a room. Where are you hiding? I'm going to hide in my room. My room is this entire canyon. I live with the gazelle and the swaro. They are my friends. To you, it's just an ostrich. To me, it's Phil, my roommate. Come on, Yanni. Feral as soon as he's away from the colony. <laughs> oh, he's up. Pull that Pocahontas crap on me. Not everything has a name. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is Shims. greatly appreciated. 33 months. That's a long time, Shims. Thank you for the resub. Very much appreciated. Always helps out, as you know. And with the new uh, full-time business, even more so. Thank you, Shims. We got this wood loaded. Almost. I need everyone to get up and get their hands on some wood. There's no time to explain. joins Mal. Now you're lucky you didn't join on the other side of the map. You'd be dead right now. Teetotaler nudist. Easy to keep happy. 12 of 85 years old. Hey, are those slavers still around? Just asking. No real reason. 85 years old. How do you even survive on the rim for 85 years, guy? Friday, it's going all right. Randy's, uh, I've been mostly chill today. Aside from, he, he's only trying to kill us a few times, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's get you. Oh, malaria. That's unfortunate.
Uh, who has our highest wardening? Uh, Morgan? I guess. 98% chance. All right. We got this. You got this, Morgan. 98% chance. Almost a guarantee. He does that. There you go. Never worried. You know what's going to happen? This old guy's going to walk into the friggin' mech cluster. He's going to die, and I'm going to get... Is that the way you're leaving? I'm going to get colonists dead, colonists left unburied. Nope. You're not... Look at that. Oh, well, the old guy's smarter than most of the prisoners we get. Alright. Give us Lucerium age is just a number. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should get rid of that corpse. At least just dump it out here, okay? I know you're about to have a breakdown, so... Trying to solve Ionic Leg, Doctor was level 9, the pawn is accidentally restricted to herbal medicine, critical failure. Five failures out of the first 10 surgeries, ugh. Four legs and three arms missing. Colonists left unbutchered. <laughs> it's more like it. Alright, Yanni. Before you break down and get double catharsis. Eat that meal. Uh, you're gonna need a table sometime soonish. You got this. I have full faith in you. Where are you going? Bring the medicine in. All right, the steel you can leave for now, though. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of waste. That sucks. Even when you have, like, really good odds, uh, a lot of times. You have lots of fails like that. Uh, malaria's not getting treated? Who's the doctor? Muzz and he has it. Oh. Okay. Uh, Doi is not good at doctoring. Do you have malaria? You do. Muzz, it might be better for you to just self-tend. As crazy as it is to self-tend with malaria. Let's see what our tending percent is this way. actually better than I thought it would be. All right. All right, who else had it? Had Muzz. Joy. Uh, Sim. Swamp Witch. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, Zermal Strat set up in areas a lot of rock. You, you won't really run out of rocks. I mean, on a typical map, even on a flat map, there's so many um, chunks laying around that you, you'll be fine. Uh, and deep drilling. If you put a deep drill over just any ground uh, that doesn't have any scanned minerals under it, it will just mine up chunks forever. So you don't have to worry about that too much. The benefit of like mountains and uh, large hills and stuff are more of a defensive, like, like this for instance. Uh, you'll have choke points. You'll have these like defensive cubbies you can build in. So, I mean, there there are other benefits as well. And but in general, yeah, you're not gonna run out of rocks.
Okay, Muzz, I'm gonna have to put you off the schedule right now. Choke points, the passive tree, yeah. Sound without the numbers on, you can easily see who has illness. That in uh, medical tab is really good for that too. Medical tab, you just come into, well, the medical tab and it'll show you all that information. But, no, we do not have any of that. Spaz. Soaking wet. It's it's raining. Get out of there. Look at that, Yanni. You'll be able to eat with the table like old times. Just like old times, Yanni. Alright, we'll get you bed. You've earned a bed. Congratulations. You're gonna sleep in the heat, but you won't sleep in the dark. Actually, change my mind. Okay, uh, production, we gotta get you a stone cutter table up like right away. Those planted. How much food do you got left? Four. Okay. Don't worry. We'll send you some food. Man on your war. Some of them were sold before. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Man hunters with names of pets that you had. <laughs> Stalwart. Two virtues in one day. What? What? All right, it's time to link the tree again. So squid is now a tier six. Who's gonna be next? Let's just go down the line here. Morgan, are you happy enough to mate with this tree? Yes, you are. You're psychically dull. That could be a good thing eventually, like if we get to Neuroquake, but let's uh, let's put you at the end of the line here. Everyone here is able to do it, so. All right, flesh, it's your time. Link. So does Ed. There we go. Thank you. Forgot I left that one down there. All right. Look at that. You even got a little bit of drugs going on. What a grand old time. Time to die. <laughs> We just build the ship reactor as his power source. <laughs> How much wealth is the ship reactor? Isn't it pretty high up there, like four thousand or some something? That song. It's through the winter. It's not winter anymore. Tab mod. You can see who saw peg legs on. They're prisoners. Yeah, medical tab is really good. Yeah. Thanks, Zane. Thank you for hanging out. Have a good rest of your night. Oh, 
How much blast oil can we even blast over here, actually? This could take so much. Ah, uh, it'll be fine. I'm not gonna build these yet, I'm just looking. Which way this turns? Like one way you can build them on, another way you can't. Uh, curve side down is on the left. I feel like I don't remember. Either way, we can just we can fix that later. I'm just looking. Silent games. Hmm. Can you actually test it with this? It won't let you until uh, that's placed. It's unfortunate. All right, flesh. What'd you get? Pain block. Not what I. Oh no, a mad rat. Yanni, this could be the end. You got this, Yanni. What kind of rat bite has ever caused an infection? you. Mountain Man Yanni. Never even worried. Thumb is missing. Think he needs a thumb or a toe? He says it wouldn't foot as well. What an eventful day. We had a siege. We had a sapper attack. We haven't had those in a while. Two mech clusters. We haven't had those in a while. Not as eventful as yesterday, I guess, but. Has this colony grown larger than the other one? They're basically the they're same size, basically. What are you doing, Yanni? Hauling that steel? Good. Good done. When I build dressers, I usually do. I usually do, but uh, I just haven't gotten back to it yet in this one. Uh, a dresser can hit all those beds. It'll up the comfort a little bit. Doesn't add very much wealth, so. Usually what I'll do is once I get like two sets of beds down, or four, I'll put a dresser here that just connects to all of them. I guess I should just go ahead and do it. I think I was originally waiting this colony until I had marble to do it, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Wealth management. Yeah, I mean, that also just being forgetful sometimes. Or saying, like, I'm going to do this, and then I you know, end up putting it off too long. How you doing, Muzz? Uh, you need to sell tins. He's actually meeting it, though. Okay. Tin to her. Is there anyone actually losing their battle here? Ooh, 52 over 51. Um, let you have a dose of good medicine. Uh... Oh, they are... I forgot to switch Sims Medicine last time, I believe. It's not good. Psychite binge? Well, at least she's beating it kind of handily. Uh, 
I don't know. Swamp Witch. I mean, I can't do. No, Doi's also hurting. We don't. We need another doctor here. Someone that can just like clean and doctor at this colony would be good. We skipped on those earlier in the run, but now that we're split so much, we're gonna have to keep a close eye on this. 45, man, Sim. We gotta catch that. So we gotta keep coming back. Question, let's go on Rodin. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Sims is pretty concerning. a good target number of recreation sources so long story there's different things are more efficient for recreation and whatnot basically it's i don't worry about it unless they it says over here that they need more recreation variety i believe it's tied with expectations if i remember correctly so if you're not getting the pop-up over here that you need more recreation variety or you're not having people get bored you probably don't need to worry about adding another one um so if you stay low enough wealth, you probably never need to add more or maybe just like add a pool table or a poker uh, table at some point. But yeah, it just, it just depends on your wealth at that stage. Um, just keep an eye on the notifications. It'll tell you if people need recreation variety. Then you just add a new type. Let's go on Ash Lake. And I'm kind of worried about Sim. I didn't realize that I hadn't set her on a uh, better medicine. Now I had to use one of my glitter world, but so we got to do, I guess, 110% quality ban. It is like 14% off. She might catch it, might be close. She's got Sim today too. Yanni, uh oh, Yanni. We fine. Eat some berries. Harvest botched. Your life depends on picking these berries and you squish them. Also got this down here. We're gonna have to send him some more stuff. Send from here. Um, they do have plenty of food. He needs power set up. Then he can just have nutrient paste. That's what I eventually want to get to on him. Uh, let's see here. Nutrient paste. We can have power out back here. It's all right. We'll uh, we'll have you set up before you know it. You'll be fine. Way more worried about Sim. I mean, it's she's catching it. She's only 11% away now instead of 15. So how are we doing? We're doing okay. Thank you for asking. 69% immunity. Nice. How are you doing, Muzz? 70 over 59. He probably doesn't even need. Like, just probably just herbal medicine for him going forward. Swamp Witch. 70 versus 2. She, if she doesn't stop tripping balls here, she might die too. Nice. 
I was going cat. binge on sim oh that's a really bad time sim sim i might have to arrest you oh christ she's gonna have a booty buff for this but it's like gonna die if I don't no 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 <laughs> close the door welcome to the queue All right, Sim. Welcome back. Lay down. <laughs> uh, this is calling number four. Let's see, one fell, two was up, three fell. No, this is calling five. Oh my god. All right, Sim, lay down. Muzz tend to her. Hundred and twenty six percent. Nice. What is she at? Sixty four seventy four. Hmm. Doi eighty sixty eight. He's gonna be fine. We can just switch him to normal meds now. Swamp, we need to deal with her too. Muzz, tend to swamp, then tend to doi. Alright, uh, so what is Yanni going to need for this? He's going to need some more steel. He's got a lot of steel around, but he can't really mine it himself yet. Uh, we need to level that up on him. So, we can send him some steel from this base. They don't have a lot either, though. I think you might just have to mine your own, Yanni. We'll send you some food or something. Okay. Oh my god, he's so slow at mining. Holy crap. Literally a one. <laughs> That'll be fine. Uh, he'll be tough and by these hardships. Be all the better for it. Muzz, how you doing? Uh, 93. He's gonna be all right. Yeah, no problem there. 8576. She's gonna be okay. 8572. So it's just Sim. We're just waiting on Sim. Uh, she's now seven percent off. <laughs> One head, yeah. Uh, Jake, they follow Jake. Marriage is on. Flesh and Carl. This isn't the most downtime we've had, though. Look at that. Look at those gaps. Compared to the last, like, three or four streams before that. Good lord. Shouldn't say that. We know what will happen. And he's not going to get a lot of steel out of this, but whatever. roof over that make sure we uh, do not make a roof there jinx 
What do you say? I know earlier today I said that, and then we got a siege like immediately. Gold edition of Greedfall. God, I hope you're joking. <laughs> no, I did not hear about it, thankfully. Food. All right, let's get some more food. Oh my God, they're eating raw food because Muzz hasn't been cooking. 75, 77, she might live. Volcanic winter, that's something we haven't had yet. See, that's the only event we haven't had in this game so far. A joke, it's real with DLC. Oh, oh, it's painful. Coffee. The devil's beans. Sim, 77, 78. You might make it, Sim. Look at that buzz. Healed up. Good to go. Time for replay? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Coffee's best. Not for me. Yeah, I can't believe they actually made DLC for that. I don't know. Killer Spaz. So what's going on, Spaz? Observe running corpse. Oh, you finally moved those. Okay. Sorry, right. you might not believe me now, but in two hours you're not even gonna care that you ever saw you won't even remember. You'll you won't even know that you ever saw a corpse at all. Ever. Ever again. I mean until next time we need to move one. But. Yanni, do we have some more harvestable Our community grows? Those are not harvestable. We're gonna have to send him some food. That's all right. Who's got a lot of food? You guys, you guys got a lot of food. Let's load it up. There we go. That should do you for a nice long time. Sim, 80 over 79. She's gonna make it. And that was kind of close though. We had to use our glitter roll medicine. He's slowly building up all the amenities. That's right. Well, so he doesn't get a raid. He already got an angry animal. With the work schedule, it's like midnight for you. Gotcha. What do you do for work if you don't mind me asking? Alright, Plank, I'll do my best. Plank, who's been brought out of the grave like five times during the stream. A 49 year old escaped convict. 13 days. No, I'm not gonna do it. Manufacturing, gotcha. Do, do, do. I gotta raise our side TD on Helvet's playthrough. Building cars. Nice. Sam in a daze. 82 over 80. Sam, am I gonna have to arrest you again? I might have to. Was in prison, minus 10. You'd be dead. Same. You gotta understand, it was for your own good. I'll be back, Sim. I gotta check on Yanni. Doing okay over here, Yanni? Not really? Okay, cool. Where are you, Yanni? Mine that steel. It'll only take you all day. Oh, I shouldn't actually. You're gonna have, yeah, screw it. You're gonna have a breakdown. Just sleep. All right, Sim. I think she's still gonna be okay, but thing is, these days last a long time, so we won't be able to tend her again. Will she be fully healed from malaria in nine hours? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, I'm gonna have to arrest her again. Oh, she's gonna be so unhappy. 
Would you be happy or dead, Sim? Don't answer that. I don't know. It's, she's still pulling ahead. She's like improving faster than the disease is catching up now. Like she's 5% ahead. I think she's going to be okay. I'll keep a really close eye on it. Slave ship. Which colony? Wait, we can't even... We can't even buy a slave here. Maybe I just don't worry about it. Gotta look. I can't not look. Oh, you guys want to buy our turtle? Cool. There you go. Tortoise, excuse me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Depressive, neurotic, tortured artist that has a passion in crafting. Back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. We... No, it was Bebel... Uh, Bebel Roo. I mean, we can't, we can't afford you one anyway, so... So it doesn't really matter. Sorry, why you have multiple colonies? Is that for wealth management? Uh, Exclamation base will tell you more short round, but there, there's multiple reasons why. A lot of people have asked, so we made a short Twitch clip over it. Uh, you can look at exclamation base as the commander if someone else wants to pull it up. I'll explain it in more detail. Um, but it, it's in, like an insurance policy is the main reason. So if, if one base falls, we can continue the playthrough without starting over. Shard is well, they're not breaking down. Yeah, yeah. Their skill isn't too high, but I mean, that will go up fast, but... Uh, let's see, there's 6%. And yeah, I don't, I don't mind a answering questions or anything, so if you have any other questions after that, just let me know. But that one was asked so often that we made a, made a clip. Yeah, she's 6% ahead now, but she's almost at attending. It's gonna be kind of close. Um, do we get this filled up? Alright. That's good enough. Good enough. Yanni, here comes some food, Yanni. You're not gonna be happy about it. It's raw food. That's all you, that's all we got. It's either that or you can eat that dead rat. It's your choice. How much of that did you get mined? 5%, good job, Yanni. Look at you. She's 6% ahead. I don't imagine it's going to catch 7% ahead. She's at attending, though, so now's the, the real, real test. Okay, seven. Let's oh, squash. Hmm. I wonder why the bot didn't bring that up. That is a command. Maybe the bot's lagged or something. Save her. Yeah, she should be fun. Yeah, worth that time. Weird. Thousand an orbital beacon should reduce your wealth a bit. <laughs> oh god, I would I would have nowhere near that amount of silver in this playthrough. That's for sure. I I don't think it's case sensitive now. None of the other commands are. It's weird. I think the bot was probably just a lot lagged. Yeah, see, it worked. <laughs> I don't know why. Bot just doesn't care for you very much. And Yanni. <sighs> yeah, weird. Had a budding to caravan, it goes faster. Yeah, we were just talking about that uh, several times lately on the stream. Caravan speed is an average, so you can tame some uh, rabbits because they have a uh, speed of seven, seven or six, six, which averages the rest of caravan higher. It's pretty cool. Nice little trick. All right, sim. People are back at work now, finally. Yanni, a tantrum. Oh, no, Yanni. 
Yanni, don't do it. Yanni, you don't have any steel. You are destroying the rice. I can't watch this. This plan. Try and get off this friggin' planet. Just going real slow. It's uh burn apparel. We're going to spin that. Uh, clear all headgear. War mask. To forever. The reason why we're doing this is we're leveling someone's crafting up with that wood, so we're having them craft and then we we burn them. Okay, the mechs are still out here, but we do need to get some more steel. Uh, they're on the other side of this, so I think as long as we stay over here, we'll be all right. Two mech clusters still on this map. We'll see. Is it bad to have exclusive gear on pawns because of too much wealth? Not necessarily. I mean, like in a normal playthrough, if you're not playing on this crazy 500% in general, um, as long as you're not going overboard on wealth, you're usually fine just playing normally. Uh, there's some caveats to that, but usually giving someone additional armor, weapons, etc. is is a good enough trade-off, meaning they're going to survive more or be able to kill more people than what the extra wealth added anyway. So it's it's usually a good idea to do, it, like I said, in a normal playthrough. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it depends is always the answer. Not getting a great. Oh my god, he destroyed his wall. A pleasure from destroying that. Not even a grain of pleasure for destroying that rice. Well, at least he has catharsis now. He's got that going for him. Are you you for let's kill a climate adjuster? <laughs> oh, it's all right, Yanni. I know you don't believe me now, but this is going to be a great location. We don't even have a single trap. If he gets attacked by anything, he's dead. We got to get his food working. Uh, so crafting is made legendary human leather bedroll with crafting inspiration. Whoa, it's a pretty good roll. Well, good trader. Nice. Morgan, you burn those really quick. Thanks. After all this construction, uh, yes. But the crafting inspiration works for arts, uh, crafting, and construction. Feel it's like your own skin, or someone's at least. <laughs> Yeah, those inspirations you can use on uh, on those sort of things. Yeah, yeah, the creative inspirations, yeah. So it does apply to construction, too. Royal Tribute Collector. At this place? Nice. You got some defense, Yanni. Look at that. Now if you get attacked, you might actually live. Um uh, Morgan. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. What was their construction skill? My bad. I didn't see the part where Woozy said crafting. Uh, 
We could actually sell the yaks. Don't really need them. I think I'll do that. We'll sell the calf at least. And one of them. Uh, let's see how many components we can get for you right here. We're definitely not going to be able to get 39. I can tell you that. But get what we can. Uh, let's see. That'll do. So we did meet in construction. 2.6 in construction. Day four of day brutality. Set to tribal. <laughs> uh, so is the new run after the double heat wave thing, I'm guessing? Or is it the same one? How are you on the grass over here? 14. How are you guys doing your grass? 16. New one. Scourge cluster. Signal to mechs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with no on that one. You have Valeria now though. <laughs> Are you in the jungle? Are you super immune? So. And I might just have to drop pod some steel in here. He's just so bad. 50, 60 growing to brute forced. That's right, Yanni. You, you will get better. Look at that. Your mining's almost level two already. You're fine. You are super immune at least. That's good. In a little while, so we got attacked. Super Mew Industrious Cannibal. Goodbye. Got this, Yanni. Overcome the stone. Look at you. It's a new chapter in your life, Yanni. Actually, we should probably make this before the battery. Just need 15 steel. Need some rest, alright. Eventually you'll have hydroponics. You'll be having the time of your life here. Hydroponics straight into paste. Mm-hmm. Need food hopper? I'm working on it. <laughs> Notifications. How are we doing on getting that steel over there? Ah, uh, we're getting there. Pie crash here. Jax, you crash on the wrong map, my friends. Uh, I can't feed you, Jax. You understand, right? I mean, I know you're unconscious, but you psychically know that I would help you if I could. You don't want to live on the ground out here being force fed rice. Am I planning on launching the ship? From this one, hopefully raids will be smaller. One person. No, you still get raids, yeah, even with one person low wealth, but I'm hoping it'll be more manageable. I have a plan. But it might take us a while. Low in food, yeah, thanks. Back to mining. Today... You're gonna go all out. You're gonna mine two. 
two patches of steel today, Yanni. You got this. Visitors leaving. Cool. How's our scan going? 23%. Man, we've been getting really unlucky with that. Uh, where is the plasteel that was found? It's right up the road, actually. Compact plasteel. Hostile activity detected. It's usually just one enemy. Hmm. I don't know. Probably going to want to tame some more elephants. A little dangerous. 10% chance they'll attack, but... Or, like I said, we can grab those alpaca. Yeah, you're still in the first one? That's right. I, I believe in you, Yanni. A party? Man, this colony has tons of parties. Partying it up in the jungle. Might as well, before they die. Oh, it's kind of hard to believe this is the base where you lost all those people yesterday. But it's the same... The ship will boost wealth for the colony? Yes. So I think ship plus wall plus colonist will end up being like 25 to 30,000 wealth. I think it's around 30,000. And then what I also plan to do, all right, here, here's one of the secrets. What I also plan to do is when I uh, start the ship, I'm going to kill some of my colonists. The reason why is the game has this like grace period after you have a loss where it will make raids weaker. So every few days during the ship launch, I'm going to sacrifice someone. <laughs> so if we get to that point, all right, that's just part of it though. I have some other plans too. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna make a sacrifice to Randy every few days during the ship launch. It'll be fun. It's brutal, but it has to be done. Mining level two. Yeah, look at that, Yanni. Just crazy stuff that we have to do this kind of playthrough. mech cluster another oh no it's an auto mortar mech cluster at this base when does that activate freaking high shield is gonna make it so that enemies are or a low shield is gonna make it so enemies allies are gonna act really stupid to this notice this is a plan another were named after me well Good luck, Empire. At least they're attacking from this side. Uh, it's not good. The low shield's gonna prevent them from doing a whole lot. Yeah, just break the ceiling again. Oh, wait, there's no ceiling there. Okay. Second pulse theater site. Jeez. Come on, Empire. Save us. There's a low shield. I wish they would at least... The AI was set up to avoid the low shield, you know? Yes. Get the mortar. Yes. We did it. Whoa. Whoa. I panicked and called in extras, but we don't, we didn't need extras. We did it. We defeated the mech cluster. Two more uh, sieges in one day. Good job, team. Man, uh, that strategically placed mortar was it's real nice. So these guys were uh, not needed at all, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Should have just waited for the Empire to do it. Uh, speaking of, we need to get our rep back up with the Empire. We've spent basically all of it. It's only at plus six right now. That's one reason why we started getting drugs. Uh, we don't have a ton of drugs, though. Let's see. Sim, I'm going to put you back on drug production. All right. Me and team? Wait, there is. Yeah, we got that plus four for de defeating the cluster. Nice. Nice. Too bad he doesn't get that one. Disturb sleep. Disturb sleep? What? What disturbed your Oh, it must have been the... Uh, yeah, yeah. 
The visitors just came in and ate before they left. All right, that's your last raw food. Now you get to eat paste instead. Nice. All right, this animal tree is ready. Sim, so you get on your tier two, Sim. You're making drugs. Oh wait, it's this one over here. Okay. Flesh, mate with that tree. Let's see what you get. Look at that, Yanni. You might just live. That pasty, filthy animal. <laughs> You start making some blocks here. No, you and team. True. No, Adam and this team. That's also true. <laughs> Dangerously low on food. At which colony? Oh yeah, we know. Thank you. Right, Yanni, I need you to mine one more thing of steel. It's going so well, you just might live. <laughs> that, that's the... That's not, like... I don't know, that's all I can promise him. That You know what, I can't even promise him that. It's pretty sad, though, that's all we can, uh, all we can offer. Got Word of Joy that's going to help out a bit over here. We got Word of Love. We should probably work on hooking up the other two. Let's see. Uh, Spaz is a female and... Uh, same as that's the other colony. But it doesn't matter. Morgan. Male and female. There we go. Make it easier to keep them happy until someone dies. Word of love. There you go. You guys like each other more now. Now kiss. Johnny, you're idle? I don't think so, Johnny. Don't have time to be idle. Uh, we should probably put, like, a really small trap area here with, like, just two traps to start with. That way he can at least survive if something like that happens. He can pull back to it as long as they're not nimble or tough or something. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, how much wood do you have? Uh, have enough for one, two spike traps. Going dark. All right, Yanni, you'll get that done. I'm sure of it. All right. Slaver. Walking onto the map. Well, we don't have any money for you. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm not even gonna look at the slaves this time. Just can't bring myself to do it. What drugs we got? We gotta get the Empire happy again. Speaking of, uh, we need to go grab this. Uh, swamp witch. Yeah, you're kind of happy enough. Grab this. The other can eh, the other can just wait. A wanderer joint. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, Koro. This is not your home. 79 year olds. People are pretty happy. Maybe I should, um, maybe I should lose him so that raids will be smaller again. And we'll just have a minus three for like six days or whatever. 
Instead of banishing or releasing, I think I'm going to just lose him. All right. The cheese. Which is just something we have to do. I mean, he's going on a negotiation trip over here. I mean, here in the desert. <laughs> Bye, Koro. Uh, do not take that food with you. Absolutely not. All right, Koro. Make sure we change your name here. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Comments like now we have it all kind. So Randy's rolling traders. It's it, it's so weird. Like yesterday we were complaining that we weren't getting traders at like all, and then today we've had probably twice as many as we had in the last two streams combined. Was that his name? No. <laughs> Goodbye, banished. We will miss you so much. <laughs> ah, you'll be up sometime. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking at your slaves. All right, he's on his way. Can we take advantage of him getting ambushed? There, there's like, the cooldown on ambush is like 0.17 or something. So did he call us yesterday? <laughs> Good question. You have 160 corpses in a pile? What's the planning area in the mountain there? Um, this one or this? This is gonna be the ship area eventually. This is our trap tunnel. Build a crematorium. You could just throw them somewhere non-flammable and light light it with a Molotov or incendiary launcher if you want. As well. Um. Oh, this. So I did a trick to see where there was openings in the mountain in case we ever wanted to dig in and see what was there. Uh, this is not overhead mountain. So I set this up a long time ago, thinking that we might dig in here and see if there was like edges of things to mine. But it's so out of the way and close to these edges of the map that I've decided not to. I should just mark it off. But there's a trick to see if it's actually um, a red mountain or not without the developer tools. For, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, I'll show it really quick. So if you have someone with a melee weapon, even if it's a log, start out on a mountain map, pick up a log, naked brutality. You click on them, you uh, draft them, you click on their, their melee weapon. If you hover open over something that they can attack, it'll show their weapon. And if you scan and you see that, that means that's open to the sky. So there's nothing there for them to attack. So we know, we know that that opens up. So you can do that. You can scan mountains, be like, all right, can I actually make a base here? Is it gonna open up to the sky? Uh, before you start digging into the map. Sim, you making tea? How about you stop making drugs and connect with a tree? I don't remember what kind of trader. You guys were weapons traders. You actually sell them the drugs. I hate that they're over here. Um, just gonna have to rebuild this really quick. How far away are you, big one? realized we didn't set smelting back up so we used to having a mod where uh, it automatically sets your bills back up we're gonna need that for part of the ship so my god I could buy a marine helmet I'm not going to I need the drugs to send to uh, ally the Empire again so 
Oh, well, we'll grab this. Who's nearby? Sim, uh, you're linking with a tree. Big one, you're the next closest. You're going to have to haul this. They want to attack the tree. Get out of here, Narda. Narda. Big money, 63 silver. Super worth. Super worth. How are you still alive? Here, let's settle right here. This looks like a great place. This is where you're going to live for a long, long time. Oh, God. I should have made you drop your meals before you left. Look at this. Johnny could have eaten that. What a jerk. So inconsiderate of others. So inconsiderate. Unlike me. All right, so that does get us a mood penalty, but it's gonna make raids easier for a little while. It's gonna count as losing a colonist. Colonist lost, minus six for six days. Hopefully it ends up being worth it. Linking is done, what do you got, Sim? What did you get? Water skip. <gasps> We're saved. Yanni, you're having a breakdown. Oh, please don't attack during this. A mad hair. Am I going to have to drop someone in to save you, Yanni? I mean, I guess we'll just have to see what happens. rabbit didn't even need any like holy hand grenades nothing yanni's dead <laughs> sad wonder man it lasts a long time but he's got some food and stuff so he's fine all right um where those elephants go man they're at the edge of the map some over there. What's left in the two mech clusters? This one is pretty much still intact. This one as well. Yanni's fine. He's having the time of his life. He's not, but he will be. He will be. Ravenously hungry. You're going to have to eat raw rice again, Yanni. You know why? Because you didn't get the battery done before you had your breakdown. Man, should I send you... Oh. We got to get the Empire allied again. Morgan, get in. What kind of what? They're taking out the... Oh, the clusters are taking them out. It's let me go! <laughs> uh, raw rice, the bad crunch. Morgan, you gotta get in here. Those ones are hot on your tails, Morgan. Tails, you have multiple. Pirates trying. It's a good thing we abandoned that caravan over there. That was a uh, pretty small raid compared to what we would have had. I'm, I'm sure we we had like 20. Uh, what were we at? Like 16 to 20 raiders here. <laughs> it works. It works. All 
All right, nice. Goes back up. We gotta check these people that we downed. Uh, flesh person. Let's see, nudist, faster, maskist. Tin, tin. Crafting Jack. What about you? Eight and cooking. Six so late night owl. Uh, we probably won't recruit any of them. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, they might be recruitable because they could deal with the animals so that we don't have to have someone else deal with them anymore. Mask is good. Easy to keep happy. Nudist is easy to keep happy. They can fight. Jack, on the other hand, is dead. <laughs> I was going to say, he's not going to uh, join our colony. Oh, I guess that still holds true. Come on, Yanni. I'd rather not have to drop pods someone to save someone in to save you. You got raw rice. Food binge on Raider. Rebuffed by Muzz. Come on, Muzz. Don't want to get with that. 159. Let's see how much rep we could get. All right, Yanni is good now. I don't know if they're good, but they're no longer having a breakdown. Yeah, I should really see how much we can get with the Empire now. Yeah, that rice has been there for 40 days. Get over the extreme break threshold, please. Okay, we need to get more wood on this colony now. So we had to make some traps. Got this, Yoni. Yoni's just not having a good life, you know? a good life at all but they're alive that's all that matters soon we'll be drop podding them stuff to make a ship soon we'll be doing that look at that your first harvest nice mmm delicious nutrient paste All the nutrients the body could ever need. All right, get that done. Let's go and fire, welcome in. Uh, so we need to get, how much rep with the Empire? At least like 19. Oh, Swamp Witch. Why are you a biter? Why are you always bites? I don't know if that colonist lost there. I, I still think it was worth it. Days of our rim world. Real tribute collector at the jungle. Nice. Transfer pod here. I'm sorry, Strike. This is not a place to live. Wow. Look at you. You could really shoot some people if we could use guns. But we can't. Come on, Yanni, just that. There you go. Do not fail this battery. If you want to eat paste at night, you will not fail this battery. All right, did you get patched up? Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're fine. Self-inflicted. 
Uh, we do not have the wood for another wood trap. So, I'm just going to have to deal with one. <sighs> Eventually, we'll grow some trees in here. I might just have them do it. They're not really good at growing, but... For the future. Oh, he doesn't even have a six in growing. It's worse than I thought. He has three. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, the door rage. Yeah, self boosted. Yes. Yep. I'll be glad to never do another melee only run again. But we have to finish this, you know? Just have to. We've come so far. We've tried so hard, etc. <laughs> we have to. We're just kind of chill and wait for the next disaster while we try to make allies and scan for the materials we need. That's it. Um, I might risk going and trying to grab that elephant. What kind of elephant are you? Phelan is a female elephant. Look how great this is going. <laughs> you only have 75 more corpses to burn. Yeah, you can get in there. We have silver right here. We can buy him. It's not a whole lot. I don't think it's enough to buy a slave. Who's Michael? Oh, right. Michael. He is Michael. Yeah, it would be nice having someone else on animals here. And he can fight, so... Seven to recruit, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and uninstall these beds so that this counts as not a barracks, which is a prison. Let's finish supper. They turned out good. Bad elephant. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> uh, he did his best. His best was terrible, but his best nonetheless. Oh, did our grizzly bear get fully trained? We need to name it if it did. Uh, yeah, it is fully trained. All right. I think it has been for a while. What animal name is next on the channel point list? It's none other than... Thin. What? A real name? Not just cat? Don't worry, I see more cats coming. Mech saved us. Those clusters have been kind of invaluable. This colony is going to need some more wood soon, too. What's going, Yanni? Just surviving. Cat five. Caboodle? Who's Caboodle? Oh, okay, right. <laughs> we have a rhino. I always forget about our rhino. Self-tamed ages ago. Caboodle. Caboodle. It's probably more rice that we need to plant, but uh, this will also work on their uh, planting skill, almost level three. Chop out a little bit. I actually need you to make some blocks, though. I'm going to force you to do it. Could just turn it up higher in priority. I guess I should do that. But we got to get out of this wood hut. Wood is higher wealth for whatever reason than stone, so... We gotta get that switched up. And we gotta get them boarded in here too. Slave ship, man. Which one is it at? This one can actually afford to buy someone now. Because we sold someone earlier. Alright. EK exports. Let's see what you got. We need doctors, we need builders. A six cat nine. <laughs> Dumbo. Sickly Optimist. 
They're kind of decent all around. Having sickly would be kind of nice, but... I like someone that's already good at what we need. Tough Psychopath. Another Luxembourg. Also, I could just save and hopefully get an animal pulser. Bionic Spine! Do we finally get whoops up? Spend all of our money to get whoops up? They've been laying in bed for years. Or invest in a drill arm. <laughs> um, do it. Let me look at you again, whoops. They're pretty good. All right, cheerleader for three years. All right, we'll do it. Watch us fail it. Bionic spine. Can we get the drill arm too? Do we have enough to sell to get it? I sell drugs. I could probably do it, but we need those to ally. So, all right. Bionic spine delivery. All right, Muzz. Operation. Stall about it. Spine. Spine. You're missing fingers, but you're our only option. It's fun how drill arms work on deep drills. I know it doesn't make any sense. Oh, God. I have a bad feeling about this. Come on, Muzz, you got this. Easy. Never worried. Whoops is up. They will be up. Finally. God, they've been laying there for several years. Uh, community. Ban and Childs. Ban and Childs. Uh, who's your loved one? <gasps> They're at the other colony. It's Flesh. Hmm. I could send you over there. Oh God, I got you broken up. <laughs> I never thought you would get a spine. It's not my fault. I didn't know. Cheated on by flesh person, minus 20. They're almost over it, doesn't matter. They've been in that coma so long, they're almost over that as well. Uh, gone, thank you for the follow, welcome in. Flesh moved on. I forced him to with word of love. <laughs> no. Whoops. All right. So, crafting and planting. Whoops, indeed. Whoops, indeed. What's with all the slavers today? It's almost like we lost 15 colonists yesterday, and the game's like, hey, heard you lost some people. Here's some new ones. Almost like that. It's a word of love, not word of fidelity. <laughs> it's going Lino. It's going Super Glue. Welcome in. Yanni, I forgot about you. Don't. I mean, I would never forget about you, Yanni. Don't let anyone tell you that. Would you guys stop meeting out here in the back or have to tear down a wall? I don't have any money to buy any slaves now anyway. Alright, do we have enough to get the Empire friendly again or not? Let's find out. I mean, they're already friendly, but we gotta raise the rep. Raise the rep. Do 
good pants. Uh, let's see. Let's just see how much this gets us. We'll go from there. How's your run going, by the way? Super glue? In your little mountain nook. Look, we got one of those, too. Another new base. An abusive shambler. That sounds about right. All right, so what do you guys here? We got some sandstone. Okay. Side of that cluster, 23 beavers, pirate sappers, survive and travel raid, back to back to back, five ponds. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so interestingly enough, we had, we've had multiple sieges today after not having any in a long time. Uh, someone in chat was like, yeah, man, a siege a long time. And then sure enough, we got a pirate siege and a mech siege. Uh, we also had sappers today. It's a lot of beavers. Sounds intense. We need to get this smelter back up. Hey, whoops, stop throwing up. Can't believe whoops is up. Crazy. Can't believe it's... All right, we're going to let that uh, finish. I got to set this back up. We'll at least get um, metal from slag, do forever. Got a lot of that laying around. Surprise, let him live for three years. It was originally just go so that flesh wouldn't get unhappy, but... They'll be fine in 4.4 days. They don't know it yet. All the wood is such a perfect double entendre. Yeah, they do. Beavers love wood. Now you're getting it. No, <laughs> I'm sure you already knew. Now you understand. Mm -hmm. We got here granite. Granites. Um, don't really care what we use, but I kind of want the door out of sandstone. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Man, we've had a lot of animal disease today, too. I don't care about yak number two. Yak number two is my least favorite yak. Come talk to me when it's yak number one with the flu. Grand door. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Alpha beavers will eat the, the anima tree. Oh, yeah, that was a long time ago. That was back when I first started Rimworld, I think. Poor yak number two. What has yak two done for me recently? Hang on. Yeah, see, yak number two... Like, yak number one produces this nice milk. We mix it with our rice. It tastes delicious. The milk that comes out of yak two, it's something wrong with it. and step yak control sappers really well. yeah yeah sappers will break through mountain wall uh but it seems like after a certain thickness they mostly ignore it supire noble pet beavers they ate your anima tree <laughs> yeah that sucks what's up yoni you having the time of your life yet Slap in the heat. You want a cooler as well? You're basically in the desert. Man, I can't have you mind that. Cross grab with a boogaloo. <laughs> Oh, we need to turn these back off. That's what's going on. It's 
Stunnercaster. After that, <laughs> it'd be kind of neat if the anima tree gave you some kind of special wood, but it only gives you 20 pieces of normal wood. It's like, maybe it gives you anima wood and you can make special things like anima beds that recharge your psi focus while you sleep. No, how about just 20 pieces of lumber? That seems fair. That'd be an awesome bed. I need some anima beds now that I think about it. Is there a mod for that? <laughs> oh no, I said the M words. I mean, not for this run, but I'm sure there's probably a mod for it. Well, probably mod for it. That would be cool, yeah. Mods, how unethical. In my rim world that's designed to be easily moddable, who the developer has said they love the modding community no don't use mods cool weapons Duh. yeah like make it so that the stabs are better or something an anima shelf take out a hot store in the anima shelf for a year and sell it in someone else for a big side buff yeah there's lots of things we could do with anima wood i have a hard time believing there's not already a mod out there for that stuff. I'm sure there is, but I have not checked. Do we get this loaded yet? Come on, guys. The anima peg leg. <laughs> They use it as a weapon. Uh, all right. That was weird. Rage break on Yanni. Yanni, you are living the best life possible over here. God, do you need a cooler, Yanni? All right. But I'm not going to be happy about it. Please don't screw this up. <sighs> screw you every time we take a step. <laughs> Psychic levitate build to the anima peg leg. It's like a slower form of jump packs. If you get two of them, you can go further. Anima dentures. Make your psy casting uh, words stronger. Yanni gets no respects. Should I rename him to Dangerfield? <sighs> All right. Let's see how much we get for this. Can they reach the blue fur? No. All right. All right, Empire. Plus 41. Excellent. Get rid of some wealth. We can call in the Empire again to help us beat uh, any crazy enemies. I can't believe that chicken's still alive. For that didn't see earlier, this chicken fought a lancer and won. Well, I mean, it didn't win, it got downed, but it survived, is the point. <laughs> it's the last chicken. It's the only one to survive all the grizzly bears. Anime adventures. Foof's Roda. Well, you can talk as much as you want. Doesn't bother me. That'd be awesome, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, Yanni. Unsightly environment. The secret of Gumpy. Gumpy's calling from nearby. He says he's 41 year old and a tamer. That's all he'll tell you. Why do they tell you their age? Nothing else. Hey, my name's Gumpy. I'm a 41, 41 year old tamer. I'm, I need to come onto your property and live with you forever. Uh, there's something following me, but I can't tell you, even though I could have already told you in that sentence where I was telling you that I couldn't tell you. Bye. Wait, Gumpy, no, tell me what's following you. Gumpy, please. <laughs> no, Gumpy, I can't. I mean, I can, but I won't. Much rather than tell us. If there was still a lot of people wouldn't want them. Yeah, but it's just funny that they will tell you all that stuff. 
but they won't tell you what's following them. That's my point. It's nice that you know their age. It's nice you know an occupation because you know some of the skills they might end up having, but it's still funny. All right, so we at 20 on this one or the other one? We are at 20. Flesh person. Let's get your uh, tier three. Followed by a herd of angry animals, maybe. Yeah, probably. Hey, just catfish mod where they lie about who they are. <laughs> Place to be personal ads. So, hi, I'm Gumpy. I'm a 41 year old human who likes quiet walks out in the field when I'm on a mental break. Last happens since yesterday's stream. Closure. Uh, less than you would have thought. It's been a pretty chill day, honestly. Well, I mean, not so much just chill, just a, uh, a slow day. Slow day. All right. Oh, why are the components way over here? That's, uh, I mean, there's a road the whole way, but. Hmm. Hmm. The problem with doing the caravans in this group, too, is that we don't have easy access to make things like um, pemmican or survival mules because we can't really hunt. We can, but it's very dangerous. Every time we go out, it's not really hunting. We gather around like four or five people with clubs and we stab an alpaca in its sleep and hopefully it doesn't bite off a hand or something, you know? It's not great. What's the separation between the mean? Those are in different colonies. So this is colony number number two. Colony one is gone. This is colony number four. Colony number three is gone. This is colony number five. So those mean they're in different groups right now. Different maps. Uh, Kayak, I don't know if you get your name right. Welcome in. Yeah, no problem. I'm sure we answer. Contain them and slaughter them. That's true, yeah. Might be what we end up having to do. Another slaver. Holy crap. We don't have money for them. Why more than one colony? Exclamation base will explain it to you. Uh, we made a Twitch clip for it. Exclamation base. Because so many people asked. If we didn't have more than one colony, we would have lost this. Oh, I don't know. 400 days ago. Yeah, there it is. seal we have. Actually, we do need to buy more of it. We only have 35. Oh, my God. Don't you worry, Yanni. It's going to be a great colony. Streams? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Try. Some people get upset that I talk to chat so much, but <laughs> I mean... Oh, well. That's how I'm going to I'm gonna do it. Don't have a lot to trade with them. Uh, we'll check though. Uh, we just offset or sent off some of our rice to the empire, so we don't have that either. Or um, I don't want to get rid of that either. We could sell some of the tea while they're here. I have more coming in. That's all we'll do. We're actually almost out of medicine, too. We should probably buy a medicine while we're here. I think we're basically out after that malaria. All right. Yes, it's yesterday. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. What'd you get, flesh person? Chaos skip. <laughs> it's causing problems in this run. Uh, Yanni, <laughs> you destroyed your wall. So now you're not even sleeping in a room, so they're gonna be even more unhappy. Yoni. Yoni, please. Why do you do these things? Why do you do the things I tell you to do? Still don't call that one weird hat the wrong stuff. <laughs> We're talking about this the other day. Don't the ability to read that fast? A lifetime of reading. I still miss some chat, obviously, when things get busy, but I try my best. I hate that they're gathering over here. 
Yanni, yanni, yanni. Maybe I should just start shipping him stuff anyway. All right, this guy. This guy, 6.9. Uh, I don't think we have word of trust here. No, we have word of joy. Are you unhappy? Well, you're literally dying, so you're probably not too happy. Um, Morgan, let's have you deal with the prisoner. Surprise, he's not just friggin' going crazy. Let's hit him with word of joy, too. There you go. Now you're happy. All right. All right, we're going to send some stuff to Yanni. We got to get this up and running uh, well enough so he can start working on all this crazy crap. Yeah, sleeper agent. <laughs> Sabotage the run. He might be on to something. All right, components. Uh, we're going to send them like 10 components. Our community grows. And then we'll just pack in uh, as much steel as we can with that. Should be good. Get that done. Calzone King. Calzone King. I'm, I'm a big fan of your, your kingdom. I haven't had a Calzone in forever. But big fan. Transfer pod. Man, we're getting all kinds here because the game's like, oh, you only have one person? Let me, let me help you with it. Me, we haven't added a paralytic uh, uh, abasia in two days. Oh, I should not have said that. We had so many of them there for a while. Should not say things. Don't speak. Just listen to Gwen Stevani. Don't speak. Look at that. It's steel from the sky. Now you can have cooler. What do you do? Know? That's a pretty good spot for it right there, actually. I like that spot. All right. Seems good. Come on, Yanni. Let's go. I think it was good. It is. Reading Rainbow. Yeah, that's right. Let's advance some blocks. I just don't, I, I mean, I don't really have any means. Sanguine, Cable of Dumb Labor. I don't, I'm not ready, even if I want to. Um, multiple bases are in the base game. They have been for a long time. However, it's a option. So in your options in the base game, you have maximum number of colonies. You can set that up to five. But yes, it is in the base game. Don't need a mod or royalty or anything like that. That brought in. <laughs> All right, Yanni. Let's cancel the mining on that. We're going to have you uh, get some mining experience by mining some actual blocks instead. So you are going to make your area over here a little bit wider, I guess. Make sure we don't hit that overhead mountain there, though. There you go. You have nothing else to do now. You can do that mining. Um, we need to start figuring out about getting the Persona Core for the ship. I'm also really thinking that we're going to try to build this, which is insane. But I think we're going to build a ship reactor. We're going to need uranium, plasteel, steel, and advanced components. Uh, we haven't checked this map yet to see what all is easily accessible. We know there's a lot of steel, a lot of components, as usual. But there might be some other things poking out that we need. Occasionally, you'll uh, see the edge of a uranium vein. There's some jade. Not that we need it. Or gold or plasteel or something like that. Doesn't look like we're getting that lucky. There's some silver probably have to send him most of his stuff, which is kind of crazy. Okay, well, Dumbleaver therapy to get over their fear of dirt and order. <laughs> That's part of the psychology mod. All 
How we doing over here? You guys doing all right? Yep, yeah, just keeping low. Oh my God, look, don't save me, it's join them. Wow, look at you, don't save me. Moving up in the world, who cares that you're 85 years old? Greedy and psychically hypersensitive. You've made a life for yourself with these slavers. Just make it obnoxious like getting over a uh, addiction. Yeah, that can work, I believe. It's going Yanni. Silent environment. Awful bedroom. Yeah. Well, here's what we're gonna do about that one. We're gonna put another stockpile zone out here. This one we're gonna set as important. We're gonna clear everything and we're gonna put things that you don't need inside. So like stone blocks, plast steel, steel, uranium. Get those out of there. That'll help with the beauty a little bit. Uh, I don't think this thing's too pretty though, right? No, it actually doesn't have a hit on it. We checked that in the last playthrough actually. I was, I don't know why, but I always thought the nutrient paste dispenser had a hit on beauty. It does not. What do you know? A lot of buildings do, but not that. That's a beautiful, well, it's not beautiful. That's a just normal, average looking machine. Made a normal bed. We can also improve it. Well, no, we can't really. Wow, they're actually idle over here. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, well, let's actually get a machining table down. It's colony. How are you on power over here? Um, we're fine. Yeah, so it does count as a wall, yeah. So. It's kind of nice. I usually build it into a freezer and stuff like that, yeah. But you're right, we could get rid of, like, three. When we're replacing this with stone, just delete those three and don't put anything back there. I assume it's ugly, but it's actually a pretty neutral ugly cube. Neutral beauty on a machine. Does losing a colony reduce your amount of wealth? So each colony has its own wealth, its own wealth. So on the graph itself, this graph is total wealth of your entire save file. So that's like, that's what these huge dips are is when we lost colonies. But uh, the individual colony itself is independent when it comes to wealth. So wealth is per map. So if we look at Yanni's wealth, for instance, Yanni is at 6,000 wealth. <laughs> uh, this colony is at 37,000 now, higher than I want it to be, and this one's at 50. So three low wealth colonies. Yanni's only at 6,000 wealth, that's crazy. His raids are going to be like one to two people, maximum. That's kind of what we want. Yeah, I think I'm going to build that first. Doesn't look like we have any uranium around. It's too high! So we're going to need to send him some uranium advanced components. Where did we find that at? Uh, that one is a lot closer. Ship reactor will double the well. Yeah. <laughs> Colony is at 300,000 wealth. It's a mess. Yeah, this is a kind of extreme. I usually don't have this low wealth. I usually try to keep wealth low-ish, but not like this. Ooh, we finally are getting offered dogs. Dogs are so good at hauling and they are okay as attack animals, but they can basically just make it so you don't have to haul anything anymore. Uh, to get a breeding pair, though, it would take 800 silver, which we don't have, obviously. Unfortunate. But. Wait, we can use the milk to make 
uh, pemmican or uh, nutrient paste meals, right? We don't have a lot of milk, but we do have some. We start turning that into it and just not have them eat those. Will it not show you in here if they're pregnant, if you're buying them? All oh, right, it's hidden, right? Yeah. Either way, we don't have any money. Let's buy it. And, yeah, it's a ship, yeah. Uh, so let's do that. We'll set up cook package survival meal. Do forever. Then we're going to come into the uh, food restrictions. And we're going to turn off package survival meals. Sorry, off. Nice. Perfect. How's it going, Yanni? Because uh, Trader's had males, too. What? You can probably watch for the hearts, too, right? You can see if they mate while they're there, and then like, oh, that one mated. Buy it. <laughs> I was going to buy that dog, but I saw it mate. <laughs> Well, all things considered, this has been a slow day on the rim. This has probably been the least active stream. What's interesting too, though, is we've had events this stream that we haven't had in a long time. We had a pirate siege up here, pretty hefty one. Uh, we had drop pod, drop pod mechs. We had a mech cluster siege. We had multiple mech clusters on this map. Um, we had pirate drop outside the base, mech drop outside the base. Um, relatively calm, though, compared to the last few streams. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's that's probably the biggest gap that we've had in attacks overall since a couple hundred days ago. So I'm just dreading that Randy's going to go back to this. <laughs> but we'll see. Fantastic. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys. That will be the end of this. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Get off here. I need to make dinner for my family. Let's save it before anything else happens. I'm going to end the recording.